Oh, what up, friends? So if you've been following along lately, you'll know that I've been trying out a new interesting farm. It's been a lot of fun, and I think it's a lot better than we give it credit for. Now, when I first showed this on stream, people thought I was crazy, and there'd be no way to make money. They also said that I was completely wasting my time. But I think there's something here that maybe we just kind of didn't know about. Today, as you might have seen in the title, I want to talk about synth map and synth map farming. We all know that synth maps were gutted to the core. We all know they don't drop synth items anymore. But I think there's a way to run these and make some money. Now, if you've never seen these maps before, they are four unique maps. They all have the exact layout or they'll only have one layout per map. And ideally, all we're trying to do and the best way that I have found to do these is to pretty much just blitz to the boss like you were boss rushing on any boss rush strategy and kill the boss. Now, there are chances that you'll get mods on these maps that can drop really cool things. You have the opportunity to find some like cracked out cool stuff due to all the mods. But overall, I've just been spending my time rushing to the boss and killing the boss and looking at what kind of synth items drop. Now, there can be rings that can drop. There can be a helmet that can drop. There can be gloves that drop. And pretty much, there's just a lot of really cool stuff. Now, back in the day, these maps used to drop synth items, and this would be like a major way for players to farm synthesized items. They would do Cortex or Uber Cortex. They would full clear the map. The map would drop a bunch of items. They would all be synthesized, and it would be really cool. But since then, GGG has removed those nodes. We hope to God they come back and they bring them back in some way, shape, or form. And for right now, the only way that people have been doing synth map farming or synthesis farming is by Uber Cortex. Uber Cortex is a great way to get triple synth items. Uber Cortex is the only way to get I-86 items unless you make them yourselves. But this farm itself overall has been pretty good. As you can see, like while I'm talking to you guys now, I'm just blowing through these maps at an incredible pace. These maps are quick, they're easy, they're fast. Odds are you won't be doing them on discharge and you'll be doing them on a really strong mapper. But I've currently taken mine apart as I wanted to play Discharge and I put Discharge together. But if you're playing on a mapping character that can blitz these maps and get to the boss in 30 seconds, these layouts on each one of these maps are pretty much exactly the same. You just learn the layout, run to the map and just go blow the boss up. The longest part about this Maven Invitation farm in itself is waiting for the boss to spawn. The really, oh my God, crit multi? It's not bad. The cool thing about it is once you start running the maps and buying the sets, getting the invitations, they just drop all the time. They're really common. They're really, really, really common. And if they weren't like, they're like 10, oh, I guess this one's unidentified. But if I identify this, it's a lot cheaper. Watch, 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 watch. Boom. Oh, I guess they're the same price. I guess people are doing this now since I've been streaming it. Um. The invitations are like dummy cheap compared to everything else. They're like super cheap. I thought they were like 5C like hours ago. But I, you know, I guess, you know, you try to record. Anyways. The price of the invitation has gone up. That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. But yeah, in the amount of time that it's taken me to record this video, you see that we've gone through four maps. So we're about three minutes, 50 seconds in. I'm not really paying attention. I'm mostly talking to you guys and we're pretty much right into it. Now we'll like run our invitation. You can see this invitation is juiced to the core. You want to run these invitations at 80% or greater and pretty much you just want to like go in and blow it up. So as long as you have a character that can run all these invitations and you have a character that can blow these maps up really fast, we're at four minutes and 16 seconds and we've already gotten six splinters. That means we're completing a Maven invitation every four minutes, maybe every five minutes. So we're making a Maven's rate every eight minutes. That's not bad if you think about it. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, but this, but that, let's talk about what we just uh, saw and what just happened. We ran four maps. Each one of those maps dropped a unique item. Unfortunately, the rings are okay. Crit multi is actually pretty good. The gloves were not very good and the shield, we didn't get what we wanted on it. But when we cleared the invitation, you'll notice once again, we got another synthesized unique helmet and we had synthesized items fall. 
This one's not very good. This one's not very good. And this one's obviously going to have power charges because we're recording. <sighs> Son of a god. But this is how I've been farming rings. This is how I've been farming different things. And overall, this has just been my farm for the last couple of days. Now, I've been buying the sets of maps on TFT and on trade. On trade, they're about 30, 35 C a map, depending on when you get them and how you get them. Looking at the maps right now, price checking them, they're about 25 to 35 C. And you can buy sets on TFT for about half a divine for a set, maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.5 depending on the time of day and who's selling. Overall, the farm is really quick. The farm is really easy. And if you're going to ask me about loot, let's just kind of talk about it. Over the last, uh, how many sets have I done? That was set number 51. I've been tracking with Wisdom Scrolls. So I've done 51 sets. I've gotten this many shields and helmets. I've gotten, where are the rings? I've gotten this many rings, not including these. And I've gotten all of this. The helmets, uh, I've gotten a ton of these socketed skill gems have cost and reservation. I've gotten a ton of the gloves. I kept all the gloves so far. I don't know which one of the gloves are good, which one of the gloves are bad. I haven't looked at the helmets yet on which ones are good and which ones are bad. I've been hoping to get bleed immunity on this shield. And essentially, in my 51 rounds that I've done, I've made 35 Maven's Rifts. Now, if we're assuming we're making a Maven's Writ every eight minutes, maybe every seven minutes, if you go faster than what I've been doing, you're looking at 1.3 to 1.4 Divines every seven minutes. If you assume it takes you 10 minutes, 1.4, six a minute, or six an hour, you're talking about, I don't know, calculator, math. What are we looking at? 1.4, we assume we do six at the longest. We make 8.4 Divines an hour. It costs us half a Divine a set. We make 0.4 divines a set. So, I mean, you know, there's money. To the guy who's doing the math right now, yelling at me that the profit sucks. Yeah, I know. But you know what doesn't suck? The cost of power charge rings. You know what doesn't suck? The jackpot lottery that you're running for that you can hit. You know what doesn't suck? The determination aura effects, the grace aura effects, the spell damage per power charge, the crit multi rings, the global fizz cool stuff that you get like i got an iron ring with bleeding and fizz like there's a lot to it if you're looking at it in terms of profit per hour there are a lot of strategies that'll make you a lot of profit per hour but if you're looking at it in terms of farming maven's ritz it's one of the best ones and one of the quickest ones on top of maven's ritz you're producing a ton i've done 51 maven's ritz and i've gotten two four six eight ten eleven awakened gems I've gotten this many extra maps. You see how many rings that I've gotten. I've yet to identify the rings. Some of these rings are worth a divine apiece. Some of these rings are worth nothing. Some of these rings at the beginning of the league are worth an absolute metric ton. And sometimes you just get really lucky on what you get and what sells and what doesn't. Sorry about that. But my point and what I want to bring up is synthesis itself is a huge gamble. And it's awesome. And you get cool stuff like lightning damage to spells. I, oh, that's 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 something different. Ignore that. You get cool stuff like strength belts, int belts, power charge shields, double damage weapons. You get helmets with rarity. It's just a really cool farm. It's a lot of fun. And the jackpots, when they hit, they hit big. We hit a jewel earlier, cold damage to attacks, lightning damage to attacks on a seer, searching eye jewel. You know, it's just, there's so much to it and so much cool stuff. You get orbs of conflict, you get all of these rings and these rings themselves with the right rolls on them are worth money. Mainly what I wanted to do is I wanted to bring attention to this because not a lot of people know about synth farming. Not a lot of people know that you can do this. Not a lot of people realize that the invitation itself is dropping synthesized items. Synthesized items have been removed pretty much, and they're very limited to what you can do. A lot of people actually get their synthesized items by running Ritual or by making their own. But when I found out this was a thing and I started doing this, this gets really addicting really quick and really fun. The sets are cheap. The profit's okay. You run the map so friggin' fast. And you know what? If you hit Curse on Hit Rings and you hit Power Charge Ring... Oh, there are none. Of course not. Why would there be any when I was searching to show people? 
But if I were to like do this and just search, you know, ring, any unique, any ring with power charges. Oh, I hit non-unique. So non-unique rings are 320 divines. Holy heck. If I hit any of these rings, you're talking about 110, 200 divines, depending on how they roll. Like, that's crazy. These rings are so expensive. There's a lot of people playing power charge right now or discharge, I should say, and there's a lot of people who need these. There's a lot of really good reason to farm these. If you farm it and then you hit and you do great, please let me know. If you miss and you don't like it, feel free to let me know. But this has been something I've been doing. This has been something I've been making a lot of profit on. And some of this stuff is really cool. Now, when I go to ID these, some of these might actually just be like really good. And some of these might just be okay. Like if we ever hit like increased cold damage while affected and extra, you know, extra everything. Ooh, I don't know if that's any good. Dang it. But anyways, these rings are good. These rings are a fun gamble. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I was doing and how it was working. Hopefully you guys are able to do it and make some profit. I do know my buddy Will. I'm going to pull up a cool little screenshot. My buddy Will started the farm yesterday. Where is the screenshot? Oh, did he delete it? Oh, there it is. My buddy Will started the farm yesterday. And he got a power charge ring. And it's fun. And it's awesome. And it's a good time. And something I wanted to show you guys. If you like it and you like this video and you want more content like this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, do all that fun stuff for YouTube. But I wanted to make this quick, easy, and short and just kind of give you guys something fun to go do. For now, friends, I'm going to get this video out to you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, friends.